A special treat indeed, Sean. This, this is something special. So get your bums in those seats. I see you, you think it's time to get nachos. It's not, sit down. Because we've got something very, very cool for you guys here in the Kia Arena and at home. You get something special every year, and this time I think they may have outdone themselves. It's my pleasure to introduce it. And so, ladies and gentlemen of Kia Arena and at home, Dota fans around the world, it is time for a battle like no other. You've had five players in these booths, five versus five. How about we do one versus one like you've never seen before? I know, I know. There is something rather exciting in store for you, and in order to get a one versus one going, we have to introduce your contenders. It is my absolute pleasure, and please raise the decibel levels, raise the roof as we introduce your first champion. Take it all in, bro. You've made every single international, and it would have been a shame not to make this one. One way or another, you stand on this stage. How you doing, dude? Amazing. <laughs> ah, you've been putting in the practice for this 1v1? Oh, yeah, I'm totally ready. That's not what you were saying backstage. Uh, sorry? <laughs> That's not what you were saying to me. <laughs> well, I'm ready now. He's ready. He is ready. Guys, one more time. Dendi is your first contender. I need to get me one of these. But now he needs an opponent for this 1v1. Who will stand the test of Dendi on this main stage? Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, because it's time to meet Dendi's opponent. I'm Greg from OpenAI in San Francisco. We brought a 1v1 Shadowfiend bot to this year's International to match up against the pros. This bot isn't like anything you've ever played against. We didn't program it to understand the rules of Dota. We just let it play lifetimes of 1v1 against itself and coach it on what we thought was good or bad. And now we want to see how it stacks up against the best players in the world. I'm Rafael, I'm with OpenAI. My name is Shimon. I'm Greg. Greg, hello. I run OpenAI. Would you like to play a game? We'd like you to try our bots. All right. So before you get started, just wanted to know, have you ever played against a Dota bot before? Are you kidding me? Uh, for three months, I played only against the bots. I have more in common with them than a normal Dota player. I don't know, maybe I tried it once just to see what it's like. Pretty much none at all, honestly. Have you ever played a bot in Dota? Uh, yeah, sometimes when I just want to warm up. What do you think of them? 
Uh, they're pretty awful. How good do you need to be to defeat the bots? You don't have to be great. C could you imagine a bot that's actually better than the best players? No. <laughs> so do you think you can beat it? My confidence says yes. But then my belief in science says no. Hopefully my confidence wins it. Do you think you're going to win? Yeah. Ready. OK, let's do this. Play some Dota 2. Rules, no bottle, no neutrals. No runes, no raindrops, no shrines, no soaring. So if I get first blood, it's just over? Two kills. It's just going to be stun in 1v1? Cool. OK, good luck. The battle begins. God, this thing's going to destroy me. The heck? OK, we're already in trouble. Oh, this is fine, then. No, I don't think it is, dude. Oh, good lord. Holy sh... That was pretty fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. So it's just impossible to kill it. Mmm, fairy fires. Okay, he's ignoring the fairy fires. The bot is good. The bot is better than I could have ever imagined. It's like playing against a smarter version of me. <laughs> the not being able to kill him fired is so annoying. Oh my god, he's so fast. No! <sighs> Ooh. Seems a bit impossible. How long does it take to make? A couple of months. Yo, what'd you sign me up for? Do you think Dendi can beat it? Mm, now? I think Dendi would lose pretty hard to it. Good luck, Dendi. Good luck, Dendi. Good luck, Dendi. You're gonna need it. You think he's got a shot? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It really doesn't make sense. Dendi, you've heard about it. Now you're gonna be playing against it. Do you, can you comprehend the idea of a bot being better than you? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do it, please. I don't want to believe it. I hope I can beat it. Come on, yep. it's just a He's bot. He's in-game, it's just a bot. I am joined, let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm joined by two guys from OpenAI, a 10-man team who have been working on this. We have Greg and Jakob. Now, guys, I just, I'm going to ask you a question here, and it's very simple. You've been working throughout the whole week, getting some of the pros in we saw on the screen. Does Dendi have a chance versus your AI? There's always a chance. Okay, we'll be talking more about how on earth this has come to be, but first, I want to get this first game underway. Jakob, let's hold on to our horses and let's see what you've got, Dendi. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's go. The rules, Shadow Fiend, 1v1 mid. No bottle, no runes, no neutrals, no raindrops, no shrines, no soul ring. Two kills or a tower, Dendi. That's not hard, right? Um, sounds uh, super easy against the bot, right? Let's okay. see. He's thinking about it. What we can get? Something good. Have you ever lost a game to the bots in normally in Doha? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it happens a few times. Okay. Uh, okay. Any advices, guys? What should I buy? Okay, sounds like rapier. Okay. Guys, let's give him some words of encouragement. Did you ever think, as a Dota fan, Jakob, you'd be wanting Dendi to lose? Oh, no. I'm joking, I'm joking. He's not a villain, I'm joking. Here we go. <laughs> He's blocking the creeps. This is a good block. Whoa, whoa, where are creeps? Come on. But give me creeps. <laughs> no way. Woo. Okay, this guy is scary. I need to bring Fosco already. I never thought I would stand here and watch you play versus a bot and not know who's gonna uh, win. I never felt so too. This guy is scary. What the? One. Oh, keys. You see the okay. south? He's scary. He's dominating. Are you scared of a bot here? Oh! Did it just fake him out? It definitely does that. He's close That's to level 3. Thing. I think he's getting a level 3 faster than me. That's not good. Let's play it out safe. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. I need to this range creep to die. He's denying. Okay. Okay. And another fast. And some stats. This guy is scary. How's he doing so far? Not doing good. pretty well? No I way. think the bot is also a strong contender. <coughs> Could go either way still. It's just to clarify, this bot has beaten Sumail. This bot has beaten Sumail multiple times. No pressure. How about Arteezy? Oh. How did he do? 10-0. You have 10 no pressure. Okay, bring up some more fast. 24 damage. I guess I'm losing on <laughs> creeps a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's play it out safe. Hey, tanking. Does it feel like a player, like a person? Um, nope. Okay, please stop bullying me. Okay, he's almost out of mana, but he has mango. Sneaky bot. He's going in. I'm dead. Oh! And he even armor plus. And an up magic one. Well, okay. well, well played. Well played. I guess I need more patience. First to two kills. Okay, how do I get souls now? Don't touch me. Guys, I think he needs some help. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for GG. <laughs> okay. So stay in your seat, Dendy. Well, I'm just gonna talk to these guys, That's these uh, minds behind it. Now you weren't alone. We have two, we have Greg and Jakob here. Now I believe the rest of your team are here. Let's see if we can find them. Big shout out to them. A team of 10 devs who have been working on this one alongside of that. Round of applause, there they are. The guys of OpenAI who have just beaten not only Sumail, RTZ, CCNC, Dendi as well. You know, one versus one. So let's just talk about this very briefly. Big question first, Jakob. How on earth does a computer learn to play Dota? Yeah, so this bot is quite unlike any bot you've seen before. Uh -huh. So we've coached it to learn just from playing against itself. So we didn't hard code in any strategy. We didn't have it learned from human experts. It's just from the very beginning, it just keeps playing against a copy of itself. It starts from complete randomness, and then it makes very small improvements, and eventually reaches the pro level. So complete randomness. I'm guessing during its learning process, it's, it looked kind of like I do. We're talking like it, it looked bad, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's super fascinating to, to watch, it, watch it train. What kind, of like, what kind of examples can you give me of like what it encountered on the way to beating Dendi? Yeah, so when it starts out, it's just completely random. So most of the games just end in one of the Shadow Fiends dying to the tower. Not necessarily the mid tower. They just, A tower. Yeah, they just run around the map. And then they, you know, they fairly quickly figure out a better strategy. And that's to stay in base. Um, so I've tried that one. I've tried that one. Yeah, so, so then they spend a while just, just basically AFK in the base. They, maybe occasionally they, they venture out, they, they hit a creep, they push out the wave a little bit, and it helps a little bit. And you know, maybe eventually they get the last hit. And, and then if we jump forward, what, what, like what, what was the big breakthrough for them? 
So it's, it's, it's hard to say there is a particular big breakthrough. It's a series of small improvements. So they reach the level of casual players, and they learn to play aggressively, and then they learn to bait. Then you know all about, you know all about that, don't you, Dendi? <laughs> I know a strategy for my next game. Like you said, FK on base, good stuff. <laughs> it's hard for us to hear you, but I, uh, I do agree that this is kind of ridiculous concept to kind of get our heads around. Um, now, final question, because I know you're ready for game two, right? Yeah? Okay, final question, and I have to ask this one, is, like, I have to ask, because I'm not sure, quite sure how, this under, how to understand, how to comprehend this. These are pro players. These are human brains. So you're just telling me this robot has failed so many times, it's actually better than professional Dota players. It's played for really lifetimes of experience, and it's played so many games of Dota, it's explored many different strategies, learned to bait, learned to exploit other people who bait, and it's just played far more into the strategy space than any human has. So it turns out robots don't eat, sleep, and they just play Dota 24 hours a day. Dendi, let's see if you can do it a second time. <sighs> let's go. Are you going to try a different approach this time? Oh! Talk us through your thought process. What are you thinking? What's the plan? Um, I'm planning to push creep wave. Because uh, 1v1 is a little bit different compared to 5v5. In 1v1 you can push, so you get level 2, level 3 faster, compared to 5v5 where you can't really push because someone, when someone can gank you, come from behind, whatsoever. So it's a little bit different game. I'm not, not kind of used to it, but I'm thinking over what bot is doing, and I'm trying to copy what he's doing. <laughs> You're trying so, to copy the bot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if any audio wizards, by the way, could maybe make it so I can hear Dendi in my ears, we could have a proper conversation. <clears throat> also, you need to bring region constantly, because uh, yeah, well, that's just the way to go. You can't bottle crow or whatever. And that's the cheapest item. You exchange hits, your same heroes. And both do it uh, really automatically, kind of. I see he just bring in, flask up, uh, no uh, hesitation. So, let's see how it goes. And his block is insane. I'm feeling nervous a little. The battle begins. Are we getting hyped for some more creep block? Don't block. Let's see what bot do if you miss a block. Interesting. Okay. Wasn't a good idea. Let me go. Ooh. He's level two already, and that's not cool. He's fast level two. I have no money for fast. That's a pity. <laughs> Look, he, oh, he used it instantly. There's no time. Okay, I'm dead. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no! No! <laughs> I can hear you now, Dendi. We can talk. Okay, I give up. You're giving up? Yeah. I, I don't think I'm getting it back. Greg, is that something so other players have done as well? GG. I've seen this quite a lot this week. <coughs> okay, so would you want to do like best two out of five or you're out of here? The hands are shaking, Dendi. Are you giving up? Yep. He's too strong. But I need more time, I guess. Okay. If I play it a lot of times, maybe I find out. How to do it. Okay, right so now. let's just kind of talk, talk me through what it feels like to play against a bot. Um, you, I see what it kind of uses as any small hole you let him, like in your play, he instantly hey. uses it. He does not hes hesitate. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I'm just trying to kind of comprehend this, right? So, it's played 24 hours of Dota for like, I mean, what, you said lifetime. So basically, I mean, how many hours of Dota have you played, Dendi, roughly? Can you think about, can you, you know, rewind the years, think about it? Give me an approximation. Uh, maybe a few days here and there. Uh, a few days. 
So I'll tell you, so this bot can actually learn from scratch in a span of two weeks of real time. And so after an hour of training, it's able to crush all the built-in bots. And after about these two weeks, that we're kind of at the level that we're seeing here today. Bloody hell. <laughs> Guys, let's give a round of applause. OpenAI have beaten the world's best Dota players with this machine, with that USB. Now, there it is. And I just, just kind of lastly, I think we kind of get the closing thoughts in terms of what does this mean for like, you know, the real world? What does this mean, you know, what does training a computer to win a 1v1 in Dota mean? And does that mean anything exciting? It's a great question. So what we've built here is a general learning system, which is still limited in a number of ways, but it's capable enough to beat the best human pros at Dota. This is a step towards building more general systems that can learn really complicated, messy, and important real-world tasks like being a surgeon. And the goal of OpenAI, the company, the company that, we, that we work at, is to ensure that these really powerful systems are good and beneficial for all of us. Incredible stuff. I mean, I absolutely, I understand about 20% of it, but guys, come on. Dota is a fantastic game, and these gentlemen and the gentlemen over there have managed to beat some of the best with their technology. I think this has been a, a, an absolute adventure. The last words with you, Dendi. Did you ever think that not only would you be at a TI and playing against a bot and losing, but also, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm many mess. But did you ever think that this kind of scenario was going to happen? Did you ever think a bot could possibly be better than a player? Uh, nope, not really. Does it actually <laughs> running around? Does it, feel, does it feel human or does it feel like something else? Um, yeah, it feels a little bit like human, yeah. but at the same time, it's something else. Wise words. So let me tell you the next step in the project. Next step in the project is 5v5. So just wait for next year's international. Okay. We'll put it in our diaries. That we'll see how that one's going to go down. Now, if you think you can do better, we've got something very exciting in store. 50 SF Arcana on the line for the first 50 people that beat this bot. It's going to be the Red Bull land. You can find it over in, well, it's not that far away from the key arena. Jump in and see if you can do better than this man here. Dude, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm coming. He's coming back. <laughs> we hope to see you guys one more time. Open AI, Dendi, and a 1v1.